All right, world. What we're looking at is a 72 K5 Blazer. Um, the, the frame's solid. It's just crusty, so we'll deal with that later. We need to build a vehicle first. First steps being that, the floor came fully braced. The box sides came complete. Strikers, the rubber bump stop for the tailgate, all of it's there. Inner fenders, these are generic on the 72, what is it, 67 to 72 Chevy truck. They're ambidextrous, they're the same. So right now we've got new bushings laid down. We're not got any hardware and we just got it. New bushings are laid down, it's laying where it's supposed to. And that's what that alignment dowel is for there. Big old tapered punch, alignment dowel. And we're in the process right now, and by we, I mean Roger's working on getting all the nuts and bolts dropped in. Everything started by hand. So if we've got something that's galled out, we can chase it with a thread repair or a, you know, thread chaser or a, a tap if necessary. And then we'll get this one on. Now, experiencing this for the first time, the only thing I've come across is right here, this corner. It's a proper tight fit to get everything in here because it, it fingers in, it, it's like a Chinese finger puzzle. It fingers in here funky and it laps here, doesn't lap there, and you got to get all this threaded in. Now, I know a lot of guys out there, they're just going to come over here and start beating this son of a bitch and they'll, they'll damage the box side. What I've come to do is these little ratchet straps. And it's a nice wide one, so it minimizes the puckering. I've got a little tiny, if you can even see it, pucker right there that I'll correct later. And I latched it here. I put the tension on it, and we just wriggled it around and pried stuff around until we could get that slid. What I didn't account for was we should have put a bolt up there when we got it set, because it wants to leverage itself out. And then as far as um, what all are we saving, this is pretty much what we're saving. We've got the front inner fenders and the hood we're saving, this we're saving, and we're going to repair, obviously, the bottom six or eight inches. Uh, Roger got a good start at getting the old front floor section pulled off. Make sure when you're pulling this apart, that bracing goes all the way up in there. Look how far that goes. And this is uh, the pickups as well. The bracing's the same. So you can see how far you don't see. It goes all the way up to here. Don't just pfft, cut that damn thing off. Go up here and you have to section this apart. Weedle it apart somehow carefully. Well, we got rockers. Um, we got a bunch of parts for this coming. Steel, we got the next batch. We got the big batch ordered which was all of this steel. And I'm really happy with my vendors. We got real top-notch parts. They're super thick, heavy, proper steel. They're slick. So now we're gonna get the back half bolted together. The front floor will show up. Um, maybe next week, I don't know yet. But we'll get that rolled over and start repairing the areas that I don't have repair patches for. And that's around the windshield pillar on the outside and cowl and stuff where they rot. So this is 72 K5 Blazer, the project we've dubbed Herman's Monster. And that's where we're at right now. That's the old drivetrain that come out. This is the new to us five speed that's going in and a 350 Vortec that we'll be putting a carburetor on. Thanks for popping in.